to remove the carburetor and replace it with a newer, more recent um, type of carburetor, you take off the original one, which is made by TK, and you can find the new carburetor on pretty much every still, recent, every still trimmer that is, and look up models such as FS74, FS80, whatever, 90 somethings that you'll see listed on eBay. They're not very expensive. Some You'll also need some gasket materials and some fuel line and grommet. The grommet part is optional, but, and then lastly, you'll need the screws the you, they're m5 50 millimeter long and they you might need longer depends on what type of uh, air filter holder that you use the original carburetor the part that holds the air filter is built in as one piece so replacing it you're going to need to add something i personally took the aluminum holder that came off of fs 65s so but again uh if you use the fs that FS65 is the size screw that I just mentioned. If you use the type like often Echo, it's thicker, so you need a little bit longer screw. So for starters, take the carburetor off and then the block, the insulator block, when you remove that on the back side, as you can see in the picture, if you pry the gasket ever so gently on the two corners, there are two nuts that, I'm sorry, two screws that uh, hold the carburetor on. When Now the two nuts that you remove to remove the carburetor, push out the bolt and put the two nuts in its place, places. And be gentle with the gasket, uh, don't destroy it. Those gaskets come in handy. The gasket comes in handy to hold the nut for you so that you don't have to when you put the carburetor on. So now, now for the gasket material that the two screws that uh, hold the will hold the new carburetor onto the block and take one side put the gasket material up against the carburetor and then punch the screw through the hole leave the screw in there it will act as a reference point so that the other holes line up and then take the second screw to the other side and punch the same hole and in the middle you can use either an exacto knife or a socket um, which sorry i didn't measure what size socket it is but if you just measure the hole or grab a socket and check for yourself before the gasket and then with the socket punch that hole through as you can see in mine i didn't use the socket so it's not perfectly round but if you want a nice clean round hole use the socket now the fourth hole the one at the bottom which is for the air that one of these days maybe i'll post a video on exactly why that's there as to how it functions but you need that uh, port in order for this trimmer to work or at least this setup that i uh, used because that's the one where air pressurized air goes into the fuel tank which pushes the the gasoline up into the engine and the carburetor or else you'll get a vacuum and it won't run so when you have those two screws holding the gasket in place that bottom hole you're gonna have to kind of wing it take a drill bit that's mm, something like three thirty seconds or something and you're gonna have to feel for the hole but eventually punch it push the punch the hole through the gasket material. When you do that, be careful not to push it so far that you can't remove that gasket material out of the hole of the carburetor. You obviously don't want that in there to end up clogging the passages one way or another. So now that explains the hole on the carburetor, but as you can see, that hole at the bottom of my picture of the gasket is not perfectly round. That's because the hole on the actual block is not lined up. Well, at least to fit the standard current standard carburetors. If you drew a line connecting the two holes on the carb old carburetor, and then from the midpoint of that line perpendicular, which today that hole would be lined up with that perpendicular line, but it's not, it's skewed a hair, uh, as you can see in my gasket, a little bit to the left. So take the gasket, Put it up against that block, insulator block, and then punch that hole or, uh, you know, just you know, punch the hole and then kind of connect the dots so that the air will go from that out of the insulator block through that little passage on the gasket to the hole into the carburetor. And so now you're pretty much on the home stretch. Now with the gas tank that you remove, you can remove it. I did. Makes it a lot easier and take a drill bit, which is um, 11, I'm sorry, 1130 seconds. I believe don't quote me on this but uh, that is if you use the grommet personally the grommets seem to last longer in that with maybe it's just the gas like everyone says it's today's gasoline but if you just shove the tube through a small hole that's pretty tight that within a year it dries pretty hard to where it almost slides like a, a trombone uh, up and down so I tried the rubber grommets, which are from other still products, which you can get online or go to the dealer or whatever. But with that grommet, in order to drill, drill the hole, 
I recall it being like 11.30 seconds, but don't quote me, but you can start smaller, try and see about shoving the grommet in there. All in all, the rubber grommet makes it last a lot longer, personally. Before, before it, you start seeing air and gasoline leaking out from that uh, where the hose goes in. That on this trimmer, the FS80, the original fuel line comes from underneath the engine, like right in the middle of the top of the gas tank. Now you can use that, but on one of my trimmers, the fuel line itself inside dried to a uh, hard as a rock and it broke off so that doesn't work anymore so i put two grommets uh, for the two lines kind of like the setup of current trimmers and by doing that when you put it together as you can see i have the carburetor here held on with two screws uh, temporarily just to run it before i put the air filter case holder on there but with that run the two fuel hoses the, and that will do it